What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we'll be having another installation mod to my Honda S2000. So this mod I would recommend for anyone who owns an S2000. Um, you guys might have this issue but whenever you're driving, you're trying to use your phone for GPS, you don't really have a spot to put your phone in. So let me show you guys what I mean. So whenever I'm driving, um, I use my phone for GPS. I wish there's a phone holder. Of course, you could get a universal one that mounts on the air vents here or here, but I don't really like how that looks. It covers my air vent. Um, if you have an AP2, you have cup holders, which is what I do right now. I have my phone down like that. Only thing is when I'm driving, I have to kind of look down on my phone for GPS. So there's a solution. Um, there's a company by the name of Modrify that makes a bracket that sticks out right here on your dash uh, being able to mount your phone mount up here so that's perfect um, instead of blocking your air van um, there are a few different options but I think this spot is perfect I actually learned about it whenever I was driving my boss longs s2000 so let's go ahead and unbox it and show you guys how to install it so this just came in the mail let's go ahead and open it up see what's inside So it comes with a few pieces. This is the metal bracket I was talking about. I'll show you guys how that works. And I also ordered the universal phone mount. You can pretty much use any mount from Amazon, but I really like the feel of this one. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and show you guys what I mean and how to install it. All right, so first things first, when you're looking at your dash, there are two little black clips, one here and one here that you have to pry off. Uh, if you have a pick, I'll recommend using that. Otherwise, you can use like a flat tip screwdriver and pry it off. There's just two little circle plastic pieces. Um, once you pry that off, you have two screws. Uh, you can use a Phillips screwdriver to help you remove that. Um, the whole reason is because once you do that, your dash is able to pop out. So yeah, I'll recommend using a stubby screwdriver. Um, I tried using like this Phillips screwdriver, it kind of gets in the way. So if you have a short stubby one, it's able to fit it right here. So you have, like I said, two clips, pop right out, and then unscrew that. So let's go ahead and take a quick minute to do that real quick. All right, and once you get that done, you should be able to pry open this plastic piece. Just do it real gently, which I already did. So you don't have to remove the whole thing, just enough where you can reveal this small screw right here. So that's a Phillips screw as well. Um, the bracket will be attaching on that. So you're going to go ahead and unscrew that Phillips screw. Next, what you want to do is use a razor blade to cut off some plastic trim piece the reason being if you look over here there's a small little lip it's kind of hard to see on this actual dash uh, if you don't trim it off whenever you put the bracket it just wouldn't mount flush so you just want to trim off just a little bit like from right here to right here and don't worry no one will be able to see it, so I know some of you guys might be scared of trimming pieces behind your dash, but yeah, you just want the uh, bracket to fit flush, that's why. So now we have the actual bracket ready to be installed. Let's go ahead and get it off the packaging. Uh, all there is, is pretty much putting that screw on this little hole right here. So the metal bracket, the modified bracket fits like that. You have this piece right here, which the screw will go into. So you're just going to fit it and slide it snug like that. And you're going to feed that uh, same Phillips screw they took out earlier. So this is how it's going to look from the front. So let me go ahead and uh, put that screw back. And what you see me did was pretty much put a Phillips screw back and then pushing back my trim piece. 
now it's nice and firm you have another bracket provided so like i say if you just buy the modified foam bracket this is how it comes with that's all you have to buy your own foam mount as well but i also purchased the foam mount the universal foam mount from their website as well since it's meant to fit flush and nice so over here like i say it's pretty much a foam mount let's go ahead and remove the contents of the packaging so what you have here the actual foam mount this is kind of like a nice base plate as well as some bolts and nuts so what's going to happen is i'm going to have this guy mounted right here like that and i'm going to feed the bolts from the front and the nuts from the back to tighten it So now that you have all four screws nice and tight snug on there, all that's left to do is just slide this uh, phone holder on. So just go ahead and slide it on like so. Make sure the clip goes on. And bam, there you have it. Just put it on, slide it down. And what's really cool is right here, like iPhone mounts, you can do that. Put your phone in close it perfect so yeah all in all installs really easy uh i would rate it like pretty much uh three or point ten in terms of difficulty really easy i think it looks really clean and nice compared to my phone being down here on my cup holder uh, i think this is way better um, another thing to note as well is since it's a little bit higher up whenever you shift with the oem shift knob at least it doesn't really get in the way uh, if you have a taller shift knob, you might, but you know, OEM shift knob is fine. So I really like it. What do you guys think? Does it look nice? So like I said, I think this is a must buy for any S2000 owner. Um, like I said, it's real nice and clean. Uh, they do make a few different options in terms of brackets, but I just went with the basic bracket and the phone mount. Uh, I don't regret spending this money at all. So of course you can go on like eBay and Amazon, get you know a universal foam mount that mounts in your air van for like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that. Um, the bracket itself, I think was like, I don't know. I think total bracket and foam mount, I probably spent a good like 30 or $40, I think, which I know is not the cheapest, but I think it definitely looks real clean, real nice. Um, I like that the materials made off is real sturdy. Um, the brackets, the bolts, everything is all nice and black. Uh, it's not, you know, silver and an eyesore. So yeah, really nice. Fitment's good. Uh, yeah, all in all, I think it's a must buy if you own an S2000 um, and you want a phone holder. So I don't know why I waited this long. It's been a month of owning the S2000 and every time I drive around, like I said, it's a pain to put my phone on the cup holder using the GPS. So I'm so glad I finally pulled the trigger and got this mod. Uh, hope you guys like it. Again, if you guys are curious, it is Modi Fry, which uh, is a company owned by an S2000 owner himself that modify and custom makes parts. Uh, besides the foam um, holder, they have other stuff like cup holders. So like AP1 owners might not have these cup holders, but he makes like a mount for cup holders. Uh, apparently, there's also like a radio mount for the phone. He makes a whole bunch of different mounts for the S2000, so make sure to check out their website. And if you guys stayed to the really end, I want to say a big thank you for watching my videos. If you want to see any other DIY videos, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel called How to DIY Installation Videos. Bunch of DIY stuff on there. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.